how do I set my SGA? In Oracle 11, we came up with this awesomely incredible idea, which is set one parameter and that'll manage all your memory, right? It'll be your SGA, PGA, you just say, I got a box with 16 gigs of RAM like this one's got, it's actually my laptop. Six gigs for Oracle, don't have to worry about anything else. That's what in Oracle 11. And some people had some problems. So please don't do this. There's a couple of reasons why. One is the usage profiles for SGA and PGA are really dramatically different. One is all about private information on, a, on probably a very volatile basis, on a session by session basis. The other one is all about the opposite, shared memory, getting value for lots and lots of sessions, and hopefully something that actually becomes quite stable over time. You know, the number of things in the library cache, things in the buffer cache, generally sort of melt down, eventually form sort of an equilibrium point. So it's very different usage profiles for SGA and PGA. So the concept of saying they really should be merged and managed as one, probably wasn't such a great idea on our part, but we pushed it and that's became, that was the default, as you can see in Oracle 11. So if you just install a database out of the box, you use what we call memory management. Um, and there's one parameter to do it. It also caused one other massive problem on the most popular platform, which is Linux. One of the things that for any serious production level or, or you know, high activity database you want to be using is huge pages. It's an operating system enhancement to make the management of memory much, much more efficient. When you use memory management with the one parameter, you couldn't use huge pages. As an aside, I'd recommend huge pages across the board, no matter what platform you're using or what, what volume you've got on the database, um, if your platform supports huge pages, you're generally going to see a benefit. 12, guess what? We realized our mistake. The default now in 12 is what we call automatic shared memory management. It's still a one size fits all, but we've separated SGA and PGA. You nominate one amount of memory for SGA, one for PGA, they're held separately. You can still choose automatic memory management, the old star one down the bottom there, but notice that it's actually not the default, which is a way of saying, we generally want you to steer clear of this. And in particular, I think if you try and nominate more than a four gig database, um, four gig of RAM, we simply won't let you use automatic memory management because we're saying, hey, you know, if you're using four gig of RAM, it's generally not gonna be such a great idea. If you're running a database less than four gig of RAM, you can see how many databases that pretty much covers. It's not many. For SGA sizing, my first thing is use this one, automatic shared memory management. So pick an SGA, pick a PGA. I don't see a lot of benefit, and feel free to um, disagree with me, in the manual shared management, which we used to do in the old days. You know, pick a shared pool, a buffer cache, et cetera. Generally, the only time nowadays I see systems getting into trouble with the one size fits all is if they've actually cite that their simply database cannot fit in the available resources. And what happens then is you start seeing this sort of jumping back and forth. Memory gets pinched from the shared pool to go into the buffer cache, then it gets pinched back and it bounces back and forth. That's not an issue with shared memory management. That's an issue with not having enough resources to run your system. Out of the box for me, right? Um, if, a, if a box is only gonna be running Oracle, I'm generally gonna allocate maybe upwards of 60% of the boxes RAM to SGA and PGA combined. Um, and I'll carve up those two depending on my expected usage. The warehouse environment, um, it's amazing how much little buffer case you can sometimes get a benefit of. And you just crank it all into PGA so people can actually get some really good sorting and, and hash area benefits as well. Um, but yeah, so to answer the question, whoever asked about SGA setup, use automatic shared memory management, um, and then keep an eye on the advisor. I find the advisor's pretty good. There's an SGA advisor, PGA advisor. Keep an eye on them and make adjustments as you go.